In season one, we saw Harry sort of go through a process of taking charge of who he is, and a large part of that was coming out to his mother. His mum is a traditional Indian woman, and so spent a lot of time putting pressure on him to get married to a nice Indian girl. Um, and he used moving into the house as sort of the, his catapult into uh, living his truest and best life. I guess when we arrive back in season two, we're gonna find Harry sort of at the beginning of his second phase of uh, owning himself and his life. Liz and Harry are pushing themselves um, and each other to put themselves out there and um, explore their love lives. I love everything about playing Harry. I think he's really delightful. I weirdly really enjoy playing characters that aren't as forward as I am in, in real life. Generally, I, I am pretty good at standing up for myself and speaking out against uh, various things for myself and, and for others. Uh, and Harry isn't quite like that. He's a bit more reserved. I think the hardest thing about playing Harry is that um, he's not a good dancer. I'm a really great dancer. Uh, so that was, that was actually the hardest part, really trying to, uh, to make him look bad. So in the first episode, um, when they're at the wedding, I chose some dance moves that were pretty ridiculous and I got complimented on them, which really sucked. <laughs> I was really trying so hard to make him look awkward. The changes I guess we expect to see in, in Harry in season two are, I think we're gonna see him grow in terms of being more confident, standing his ground a bit more. And I think for a lot of people, something they have to deal with at some point in their lives is figuring out who they are uh, separate from their family. We're seeing him go on that process and we're seeing that happen more. Of course, he is still so connected to his mother and his mother's a big part of who he is and his life. Uh, but, you know, his family are traditional, very traditionally Indian um, and Harry isn't. In terms of what changes we'll see with his relationship with his mother, I think it becomes more mature. I, you know, I think even though his mother is one of his best friends and, and they do have a, a mature relationship in many ways, I think it sort of crosses over into the next phase. And I think that largely that's because she's accepting who he is and, and understanding who he is. And it's, I, I don't imagine it's gonna be an easy ride, but the most important thing is that she's trying. I've thought a lot about what sort of alternative storylines I would uh, create for Harry. Um, now, something that's not a huge part of his story in season one, but we, we do know for certain is that he's a doctor uh, and he works as a plastic surgeon in hospitals. So working largely with uh, skin cancer and, and whatnot. Um, <laughs> And there's a version of the show that I see where he goes into cosmetic surgery and his life sort of becomes like Nip Tuck. You remember that show? <laughs> really like sexy and raunchy and plastic. I, th I feel like it would be very funny to see him navigating that world because he is <laughs> a little bit, you know, sort of closed up. <laughs>